lot of water. I have a, um, a filter that I use at home. And for when I'm in the car, I have a, um, a water bottle that I fill up. And I, I try to stay away from plastic water bottles as much as I can. Are you aware of like the chemicals that are released from them that could cause certain diseases? Like That's why I started not using that now. I'm a nutritionist. I run two departments uh, in a very large pharmacy and try to uh, make people aware of every step you take leaves a footprint. And, and you want that footprint to be a footprint of love and sustainability and not too much waste. And, you know, I have to be honest, you guys are young. I'm ashamed of what we do. Are you aware that there's a lot of chemicals in plastic that, that cause a lot of problems in people? Yeah. I do. I drink half the time out of a glass bottle, uh -huh. and the other half because of just life circumstances, out of a blue tinted, you know, number one plastic bottle. What do you prefer? Sparkling water out of a glass bottle. But normally, like uh, in general, like how would you normally drink Poland one? Poland Spring. Poland Spring. Usually, like when you grab a bottle of water, is it going to be plastic? Right. Like do something like drinking out of glass, things like that. You feel more comfortable with, or? Drinking out of like glass bottles? Um, I probably would stay away from glass bottles only because of the break because they break and you know it could be a hazard. But if they could come up with a plastic that does not have the toxins, I would definitely use plastic water bottles. I would buy, I would buy, continue to buy water. Plastic. What do you give your dog? You have a dog. What do you give him? Water out of uh, plastic gallon. Okay. Oh, All right. It's very hard to change your old habits, and I know how horrible it is with all the plastic we're using and plastic island out in the Pacific. Do you drink water out of plastic bottles? Yes, I do. And have you heard that there are chemicals in plastic that can cause things like cancer, Alzheimer's, things like that? No. Well, now that you know that, what do you think? No, I don't believe that. You don't believe it? No. So you're a scientist now? <laughs> so if I, if I drink Poland Spring water out of bottles, you get fat? Yep. Do you drink water? Yeah. You drink water in plastic bottles? Yeah. How often? Like how many bottles of water? Are... Okay. Yeah. Uh, four. About four? Maybe you, five. You drink anything <laughs> <laughs> else out of plastic bottles? Diet Coke, things like that? Yeah, Diet Coke. Are you aware? Uh, you buy it for your kids, for your family? Yeah. Why? You know that plastic bottles actually have a lot of things that leach into into beverages, like a lot of chemicals that you know. What what do they do? They predispose you to like diabetes, to uh, to cancer. obesity, cancer. Yeah, that's cancer. I do drink out of plastic often because of convenience, because I work 8,000 hours a week. But I actually prefer to put filtered water from home in a glass. I bought a glass container here. So now, like now that you know that, you're gonna keep drinking out of plastic bottles. Yeah. Do you care? Do I care? Or am I gonna get glass bottles? No, I don't care. Why? Because everything causes cancer. Well, like what? The air that we breathe, the water we drink, food that we eat, pesticides. What if I told you that it could actually kill your balls? It could actually cause your balls to retract into your body. Are you listening? Yeah, look look at the are, camera. If, my balls have been unaffected. Huh? My balls have been affected. But I'm saying long-term effects that your balls could be sucked back into your body and actually turn into a mangina. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day when you wake up in the morning and you got to scratch your balls, you wind up fingering yourself. I want to know how that morning's going to be. Will I get an orgasm? Probably. If you, if you developed a mangina at that point, would you start drinking out of glass bottles instead of plastic bottles? I think it's too late at that point. <laughs> yes. Yeah, half the time I have a glass. I have a glass water bottle. I use it at home. I use it in my bedroom and bathroom. And sometimes I take it to work. And sometimes, just because life is demanding on time and I'm running, I, you know, I have the plastic water bottle and, or, the, or the product in the store where we work. Yeah. And it's it's a good it's a good quality quote unquote. We were just a generation of convenience. All these things came up that they were like, wow! And now I look back at them and I go, what the heck happened? I only stopped so much. So like, if, if things were offered for a little bit more money in glass bottles or in a plastic that didn't have any of the chemicals, would you be willing to... No, with the glass bottle, there's a headache. I mean, I guess I could. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, glass bottles, uh, they don't use so much now.
Is there such a thing? Yes, actually, we're trying to get it to be sold. That's why I'm doing this project for school. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I think it's worth it. I do. I have grandchildren, and I'm not happy that what well, I'm leaving them. <laughs> it's actually there's studies showing that the chemicals that are being released are causing all these hormonal and reproductive and cancers. Xenoestrogens yeah. and endocrine disruptors. Yeah. And I promise you, I, I do what you do. Yeah. All right. So here's a question: If if plastic, if plastic, if there's a type of plastic, right, that didn't like that was safe of all those chemicals, would you would you would you buy that instead? Would you go for the thing, even if it was a little more money, say? Would you go for the safer? Yeah. Well, if there was a plastic that you knew was safe, would you pay extra money and buy yeah. those plastic bottles, or you would, would you keep buying the other ones? Oh, I would buy it. And would you switch? Would you be willing to switch back to glass if glass was offered? Would you yeah. drink? Yeah. I always buy a Coke from glass when it's. Do you? Yeah. Nice. And would you would you use a plastic if a plastic was introduced that had no chemicals that was completely safe? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If you knew it for a fact that it caused that, would you make the change of not drinking out of plastic? Uh, yes. You would? Yes. So you would be willing to switch over, like, would you go with something that's glass, say, or would you rather go with, like, a safer plastic? Uh, yeah, safer plastic. Safer plastic you would you would buy if it was available? Yes. All right, cool. Not would, would you be willing to well, pay a little bit more for a plastic that didn't release any chemicals, that was guaranteed as safe, didn't release anything into the water, like, completely yeah, stable? One that wouldn't kill the environment. Right. Or what if they had like a safe plastic? If they had a plastic that didn't have any chemicals in it, maybe like that was a little. There's such a thing. I don't know. Of course. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You'd be willing to make that change. Yeah. All right. Why not? I would. Yeah, just because I'm, you know, very oriented that way. Anything that's 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 an upgrade for our health. I think maybe the stress of worrying about everything like this might be giving me cancer too. Yeah. Well, do you think that, I mean, everything's got to start somewhere, so do you think that things can turn themselves around? Do you think yes. that we're in a world that's willing to change? I really think so, and I think that, I mean, I try to do it every single day, and I know that uh, I try to also teach people lovingly to do it every single day, because it's really important. You know, I, I, it's very, very difficult, but by doing it every single day, it will happen. I thought I was doing them good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I would I want to do my puppy home. Huh? You're uh, My nipples always erect because I drink out of plastic bottles. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh God. <laughs> They're always erect. Does that mean anything? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sick. I got a disease. You, you, you are sick. Right up here, up here. That's from the plastic box. <laughs>